Hello guys, welcome back to Technetic YouTube channel. In this video, we will see some Accenture network security and cloud question that is recently asked in Accenture exam, Accenture, Accenture September exam. So please watch this video carefully. And if you like our content, then do subscribe our YouTube channel so that we, we will have some more motivation to make these type of videos more. Okay. And if you're going to join TCS with Pro in courses, then we have made a lot of videos on fetch and uh, how should you proceed what are the procedure to join that those companies so please do check those videos as well so this is the first question that is asked in accenture september exam that is presentation layer of osi reference models uh, translate data encrypt data compress data okay you have option only two and three only one and three all one two and three and only one and two okay so if you see what is the working of presentation presentation layer as we know that we have studied all osi layers the total there are total seven layers okay so what exactly presentation layer presentation layer works on these three things translate data encrypt data compress data so so answer will be all one two three okay the presentation layer of the OSI model works on translating, compressing, and encrypting the data as well as other functions such as formatting, decrypting, decompressing, and serialization. Okay, so it is not limited to translating, compressing, and encrypting. So the second question is, which of the following is a network security protocol idea for protective sensitive data and securing internet connection? This is very easy answer. If you, if you don't know, uh, the concept behind it, but still, if you are browsing on the internet and if you see in the tab, there is a, uh, in the left side of of uh, search bar, okay, you will find this SSL certificate, okay, like SSL certificate ensure that there should be a security if you are working on some sensitive portal like uh, banking portal or networking portal portal, then SSL ensure the data transmitted between the server and the browser is secure private preventing hackers from intercepting and tampering with the data so for this question the answer is ssl okay okay so the third question is which of the following cloud metric shows the mean time between failures okay mean time between failures so the option is response time metric service system availability metric reliability metric throughput metric if you haven't studied about mean time between failures, you can just pause this video, read about this, then come back and then choose the option. Okay. I know there are some questions that are uh, out of the box. Okay. Because we haven't studied, you haven't studied whole thing. Okay. Even I am not studied whole thing. So uh, let's take question by question. Okay. So answer is reliability metric. MTBF. What is MTBF? Let's understand. It is a measure of the average time between failure of a system or a component. It is used to access the reliability and availability of a product or a service. Okay. The so question number four. This is related to cloud. Okay. And especially to uh, which service? Google Cloud Engine. Okay. So in Google Cloud Compute Engine, which of the following are the prerequisite to be able to create a VM instance? Okay. If you have ever done any labs in Compute Engine, then it is very easy for you, okay? If you have done any labs in this Google Cloud Compute Engine, I have done a lot, okay? So I know exactly what is the answer. Even I'm going to tell you why it is that. So the option is project, billing account, Compute Engine API should be enabled. So the option A is only one and three project and Compute Engine APIs, or one and two project and billing, or one, two, three, and uh, fourth one is only two and three. So the answer is all one, two, three. So to create a VM instance, so we, what is VM here? VM is VM is virtual, virtual machine. Okay. Virtual machine instance in Google cloud compute engine. You need to have a project that is you just going to log in that project, which is, which should be have a billing account, which, which, uh, which charge you to do something. Okay. And the compute engine API enabled. This is this is something that will work in every that will work in every services that you are going to use. Like if you are doing in computing Google Cloud, if you are if you want to use Query or any other services, then you have to make sure that to their API 
should be enabled. Okay. For the reference, you can use this link. I will put this uh, this link in the description box as well. Okay. As per the concept of Hamming code, find the number of redundant bits if the original data which needs to be transferred is one zero one zero one zero one zero. Okay, four three five two. Okay, there is a formula that work for the Hamming code. If you check out, then this is the formula where R is the number of redundant bits and M is the number of data bits. Okay, so if you put these value, you will find this. Uh, formula valid and the answer will be of this question is three. Okay. That is B option. So class A of IP address allows how many host address on the network? It is very simple. 224, 232, 216, 28. So the answer is 216. Okay. So the next question is which of the following is an example of IAAS? This is not Indian Administrative Service. It is IAS, Infrastructure as a Service. So as we know that in the cloud computing, there are three types of offering or service offering that is provided cloud by cloud computing. That is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service. So if you see WordPress, what is WordPress? WordPress is a CRM. Okay. That means that is a platform not a infrastructure okay not you you cannot host your website over there okay for hosting you need to take some other hosting service over there okay you uh, you do no, you cannot do everything over there you okay you do not run the servers over there wordpress okay it's a crm so for this answer is aws ec2 we will understand one by one each and everything so AWS EC2 is an example of infrastructure as a service as it offers compute, storage, okay, and other very more services as well. And it will charge you pay basis. It, it will it will charge you on the basis of how much you are gonna use what type of service on AWS EC2. That is why it is infrastructure as a service. What about WordPress? So it is a CMS typically run the run on the top of infrastructure provided by a hosting. So if you if you are if you want if you want to create a website on WordPress, then you have to host your website on some other hosting services provider. That's why it is called for platform as a service. If we talk about Salesforce and Mailchimp, Salesforce is a CRM customer relationship management. And Mailchimp, email marketing service. These both are software as a service. Okay, they are basically selling their software. Okay, as a service. On those software, you can customize. You can use whatever you want to do on that services software. Okay, which of the following feature are provided in past model of cloud computing? That means platform as a service, built-in security, scalability, web service interface. It is very simple and logical thing if someone is providing platform like in the previous 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 question we have studied wordpress is a pass okay platform as a service then definitely definitely if it is not providing built-in security then built-in security then what is the benefit of using this okay so definitely this this will be in this platform as a service this will be feature present this this will be present in this feature okay what about scalability? Now, what happens if there is a load come? Let's say in your website, uh, on your website, the one lakh traffic is coming on. Okay. Now, there is no scalability. Okay. For peak time, if it is going out of uh, out of servers, okay, it is not it is not tackling the uh, the traffic, the so much traffic. So, what is the what is the benefit of using this? Okay. So, scalability and web service interfaces. Okay, so the answer of this question is all one, two, three. Okay, built-in security and scalability and web services interfaces. So this is why this is why platform as a service uh, very it is very benefit and useful to use this kind of service that is WordPress. That's why uh, nowadays a lot of websites are hosted or uh, working on WordPress or based on WordPress. So question number nine, S S Y N flood and Smurf attack happens on which of the following layers of OSI model? Okay, if you if you have little bit studied about DOS, okay, then you know these terms S Y N flood, Smurf attacks happens on which of the following layers because of the 
that attacks there are option four application layer session layer transport layer and physical layer and the answer is transport layer because that is responsible for establishing and maintaining the connection between two hosts so if these attacks are going to happen on your server then what will happen there will be no connection you cannot find the website or you can't you can't get what you want over the internet that's why it is very important to to have some kind of protection okay so syn flood and smurf attacks are both tight both types of denial of service attacks that target the transport layer of osi model which is responsible responsible for establishing and maintaining connection between two hosts so i hope you liked our content please do subscribe our youtube channel we have made videos on previously we have made video on coding question that is asked in accenture in september exam and we have made videos on accenture facts that is if you are fresher and looking to join accenture then definitely you should watch this video thank you for watching this video